renowned for his enigmatic allure and distinguished career, Henry Fonda graced the silver screen with his presence. His tall stature, calm demeanor, and undeniable talent catapulted him to stardom during his era. This actor's range knew no bounds, as he effortlessly shifted between genres, leaving audiences captivated. Despite his professional success, his personal life remained shrouded in intrigue, marked by numerous affairs and marriages. These romantic endeavors kept his name alive through generations, contributing to his everlasting fame. As a true ladies' man, Fonda maintained an air of mystique, both on and off-screen, further solidifying his place among Hollywood legends. Henry Fonda's career is truly commendable. This actor, known for his natural charisma and undeniable talent, made his mark in both films and shows. His on-screen presence was always powerful, capturing audiences with his unique charm and authenticity. Off-camera, Fonda was equally impressive, a driven individual who faced many personal and professional challenges with determination and resilience. Throughout his life, Fonda experienced highs and lows, much like other legendary figures in Hollywood. He encountered love and heartbreak, success and failure, fame and scandal. Yet through it all, he remained focused on his craft, constantly honing his skills and delivering standout performances. Fonda's acting style was understated yet impactful, making him a favorite among directors and viewers alike. Whether in a lead role or supporting cast, he brought depth and nuance to every performance. From his early days on Broadway to his later work in television, Fonda proved himself to be a versatile performer capable of tackling a wide range of roles. Despite facing significant hardships throughout his career, including failed marriages and family tragedy, Fonda persevered. His unwavering dedication to his art form earned him widespread respect and admiration, cementing his place as a true icon of American cinema. As we reflect on Fonda's contributions to the entertainment industry, it's clear that his legacy will live on for generations to come. Through his timeless films and memorable performances, he continues to inspire and delight audiences around the world. And while his life may have been marked by ups and downs, there is no denying the profound impact he left on the world of acting. During the height of his career in Hollywood, Henry Fonda was known for being surrounded by different women regularly. This carefree image he projected earned him the nickname Hollywood Golden Boy. However, maintaining this persona came with its own set of challenges. Standing at six feet tall with a lean build, Fonda was conscious of how his physicality could be perceived on screen. He used his unintimidating physique to his advantage, often playing roles that required a more understated masculinity. Despite his clean-cut appearance, Fonda demonstrated a keen sense of social awareness and decency in his films. Famed critic Andrew Sarris praised Fonda for his truthful acting style, noting that his on-screen presence mirrored his off-screen values. Fonda's genuine nature added depth and authenticity to his performances, making him a standout among his peers. Behind the scenes, however, Fonda faced personal struggles. While he appeared confident and self-assured on camera, he grappled with anxiety and insecurity throughout his life. These internal battles shaped his artistry and fueled his dedication to his craft. Despite his success, Fonda never lost sight of his humble beginnings. Born and raised in rural Nebraska, he remained deeply connected to his roots. His down-to-earth demeanor endeared him to audiences and colleagues alike, solidifying his status as a beloved American icon. Henry Fonda was an interesting character who overcame many challenges in his youth to become a beloved actor. Born in Nebraska in 1905, Fonda came from a unique background. His ancestors were among the first Dutch settlers in upstate New York before his parents moved the family to Nebraska. Growing up, Fonda's family practiced Christian science, which meant they did not believe in doctors and preferred self-medication for health problems. This unconventional approach nearly ended Fonda's dreams before they began when he became severely ill as a child. Despite these obstacles, Fonda remained active during his teenage years. He participated in the Boy Scouts of America and found solace in physical activity. However, Fonda was also painfully shy and avoided interacting with girls outside of his sisters. His sheltered upbringing made socializing with strangers difficult, causing him to bottle up his emotions until much later in life. Fonda's unusual childhood shaped him into the talented actor we remember today. Despite the challenges he faced, Fonda persevered and pursued his passion for acting. His quiet determination and undeniable talent earned him a place in Hollywood history as one of its greatest leading men. At just 14 years old, Henry Fonda experienced a formative event that would shape his perspective for the rest of his life. 
He witnessed the killing of an individual during the 1919 Omaha race riots, which he later described as the most horrendous sight he had ever seen. This experience made a deep impression on him, influencing his views and values. As a teenager, Fonda enjoyed activities like skating, swimming, and racing, despite his smaller stature. His love for these sports reflected his competitive nature and desire to push himself. Eventually, he found himself working in his father's print plant, where he hoped to become a press officer. To achieve this goal, Fonda studied journalism at the University of Minnesota. Throughout his career, Fonda remained committed to social justice and equality, reflecting the impact of his early experiences. Although he became known for his work in theater, television, and film, he never forgot the lessons he learned as a young man. As Henry Fonda matured, he stood taller than most people expected, which proved advantageous when he discovered his passion for theater. Before then, he held various jobs, including working for a telephone company. However, fate had other plans for him. His initial involvement with the Omaha Community Playhouse started as a pastime, but it quickly turned into something more significant. This community playhouse became the stepping stone for Fonda's illustrious career, shaping his future in ways he could never have imagined. Fonda gained popularity among the locals due to his dedication and hard work at the playhouse. One notable instance involved Dodie Brandon, who happened to be Marlon Brando's mother. She was impressed enough to arrange an audition for Fonda, further solidifying his standing in the local theater scene. With each performance, Fonda developed a reputation for immersing himself wholeheartedly in every aspect of production, from constructing sets to managing stages. He couldn't get enough of the magic behind creating captivating shows. Despite finding immense joy in acting, Fonda struggled with crippling shyness early in his career. Rather than allowing this hurdle to derail his dreams, he sought creative solutions to overcome his limitations. In 1928, Fonda expanded his horizons by joining the esteemed university players based on the East Coast. Through determination and perseverance, he began securing increasingly prestigious roles, ultimately unveiling the prodigious talent lying dormant within him, thus marking the beginning of a fruitful journey filled with success and acclaim for this budding actor. Meanwhile, the first signs that Tim and Henry had grown up emerged when he met and fell for the beautiful actress Margaret Sullivan during a stint with university players. The actor courageously wooed her, and to everyone's delight, she accepted his advances. Critics would later say it was a significant moment in history when he took the bold step to solidify their love and marriage. Their wedding, held on Christmas Day in 1931, was a celebration filled with hope and joy. At 26, the actor entered into this union with Margaret, who was just a few years younger. However, the couple quickly learned that marriage entails more than just love. Despite their best efforts to maintain their connection, marital issues soon surfaced. Both Margaret and the actor experienced occasional emotional outbursts that created tension. Known for her rebellious spirit, Margaret often clashed with him, leading to sharp disagreements. In one memorable incident during dinner, she became so furious that she dumped a jug of ice water over his handsome head. Stunned by her boldness, he sat in silence before leaving the house. While Margaret returned to her meal, unfazed by the scene she had just caused. Their attempts to nurture the marriage included relocating to New York City, hoping to start fresh and seek new job opportunities. Unfortunately, these moves could not save their relationship. The marriage, marked by a series of ups and downs, lasted only two months. This brief chapter in the actor's life opened a door to understanding more about himself, though it remains uncertain if he truly learned from the experience. As he navigated the challenges of this first union, Many of the emotions he had kept bottled up since his teenage years began to surface. Meanwhile, after his 1933 divorce, the actor dove into a whirlwind of relationships. He became a womanizer, with his dating spree making headlines. One of the most talked about romances was with Shirley Ross, where rumors swirled about their engagement and wedding plans. This period was marked by a scandalous reputation, fueled by his strong friendship with Jimmy Stewart. Together, they formed a duo known for their charm, successfully attracting many high-profile women. Their adventures in Hollywood became legendary, as luck seemed to be on their side. Fortune smiled on him when he landed a life-changing role in a film, shifting his career into high gear. This classic, The Farmer Takes a Wife, not only solidified his status as a leading man, but also introduced him to other notable actresses, including Carol Lombard. By 1936, whispers of a romance with Virginia Bruce further fueled the gossip columns, showcasing his growing popularity and the excitement of his post-divorce life. 
1936, the actor Henry Fonda found himself embarking on a new journey, his second marriage. His bride was a stylish yet fragile socialite named Frances Ford Seymour Brook Hall, who happened to be a recent widow of a wealthy industrialist, George Tuttle Brokaw. Only a short while before their union, Frances's first husband had passed away, leaving her in a state of emotional turmoil and grief. Despite this, Henry seemed eager to start a family, and they went on to have two children together, Jane Fonda and Peter Fonda. However, this new chapter in Henry's life proved to be far from smooth sailing. Frances was still grappling with feelings of anger and sorrow over her late husband's death, making it difficult for her to fully commit to their relationship. Nevertheless, Henry remained devoted to his new wife and even put his acting career on hold when Jane was born in 1937. He missed out on shooting scenes for the film Jezebel, which ultimately propelled him to stardom, all to be present for his daughter's arrival into the world. Despite the challenges they faced, the couple persevered, creating a loving home for their growing family amidst personal struggles and heartache. During the filming of Wings of the Morning, Henry Fonda first encountered Frances Ford Seymour at Denham Studios in England. Following her husband's passing, Fonda pursued her, and they eventually married in 1936. However, their marriage faced challenges due to Frances' emotional instability. After 13 years together, Fonda abruptly expressed his desire for a divorce in 1949, seeking to start anew. Frances struggled with mental health issues, leading her to admit herself to the Austin Riggs Psychiatric Hospital for treatment. Before her untimely demise, she penned six letters to various individuals in her life, excluding her spouse. Upon receiving news of her passing, Henry Fonda reportedly arranged a hasty private burial attended solely by himself and his mother-in-law. Dr. Margaret Gibson, who previously cared for Francis, described Fonda as emotionally distant and self-centered. Critics have linked these traits to his military service during World War II. Eager to contribute to the war effort, Fonda enlisted in the army, leaving behind his home state and young family. He famously declared, I don't want to be in a fake war in the studio. Upon returning from the conflict, Fonda underwent significant personality changes, becoming more aloof and detached from his loved ones. This transformation led to increased familial distance between him and his wife, as well as his children, whom he grew disinterested in over time. Henry Fonda's relationship with his children was complicated. His son, Peter, shared memories of a distant father who never said I love you. Meanwhile, his daughter Jane recalled how her father's demanding expectations impacted her self-worth. He often suggested that she wouldn't be loved if she didn't appear perfect. This behavior reflected a man disconnected from his family, unable to fulfill his paternal duties adequately. After meeting Susan Blanchard, Fonda found solace outside his strained marriage to Frances Seymour Fonda, who suffered from bipolar disorder. Some speculate that Fonda abandoned his ailing spouse out of desperation, while others argue he sought escape from years of misery. Regardless, Frances's mother grew increasingly distraught over Fonda's infidelity, ultimately resorting to suicide, leaving behind two traumatized children aged 12 and 10. When confronted with their mother's death, Henry allegedly lied to his kids, informing them that she passed due to heart failure rather than taking her own life. Furthermore, he denied them the opportunity to attend her funeral, choosing instead to privately lay her to rest. These actions raised questions regarding Fonda's true motivations during this tumultuous period. Following the tragedy, Fonda remarried Blanchard, and they adopted a baby girl named Amy Fishman together. Despite appearances, however, their union wasn't destined for longevity. After their separation, Blanchard candidly discussed the challenges she faced in the marriage, describing herself as little more than a servant catering to Fonda's every whim. In 1956, when Henry Fonda was already 51 years old, he took on the challenging role of Manny Balistro in the film The Wrong Man, directed by the renowned Alfred Hitchcock. This classic marked a significant milestone in Fonda's career, highlighting his exceptional talent and adaptability. Just a year after The Wrong Man, Fonda starred in the thought-provoking drama Twelve Angry Men, where he played both Juror 8 and 12. Interestingly, he also served as one of the film's co-producers. This masterpiece earned him a BAFTA award for Best Foreign Actor, further cementing his status in Hollywood. Fonda didn't shy away from exploring darker characters either. He stunned audiences with his chilling performance as the villain in Sergio Leone's iconic spaghetti western Once Upon a Time in the West. Released in 1968, it became a massive success across Europe, underscoring Fonda's global appeal and versatility. 
Despite his more sinister roles, Fonda maintained a likable image through lighter-hearted performances. One notable example is his charming appearance opposite Lucille Ball in Yours, Mine, and Ours. Additionally, his work with Terence Hill in My Name is Nobody demonstrated his ability to shine even in comedic settings. With his military background, Fonda often portrayed authoritative figures. An excellent illustration of this can be found in the 1965 war epic Battle of the Bulge, where he delivered a powerful performance as a colonel. Thus, throughout his illustrious career, Henry Fonda proved himself a consummate professional who could handle various genres and roles with equal finesse. In his late 60s, renowned actor Henry Fonda continued to work tirelessly in the film industry. Once, while on set, he even collapsed, displaying his unyielding determination and dedication. This incident became a testament to his indomitable spirit. Later, his daughter Jane acquired the film rights to Ernest Thompson's play on Golden Pond. Her intentions were deeply personal, hoping that the story, echoing the strained relationship between a distant father and his daughter, could help mend fences between herself and her own father. The resulting film saw both Jane and Henry Fonda playing pivotal roles alongside screen legend Katherine Hepburn. Released in 1981, it struck a chord with audiences worldwide, earning Henry Fonda an Academy Award for Best Actor. Regrettably, due to his deteriorating health, he was unable to accept the accolade in person. Sadly, around this time, the actor faced severe battles against heart disease, casting shadows over his career and personal life. Despite these challenges, he persevered through productions, leaving behind a rich legacy in cinema. However, fate eventually caught up with him. Months later, devastating news arrived Henry Fonda had succumbed to heart disease. After his brief marriage to the Italian Baroness, Henry Fonda found love again with Shirley Mae Adams, a union that lasted until his passing. However, despite these later marital bliss, the actor had a more challenging rapport with his children. Their relationships remained somewhat distant and detached throughout his life. On August 12, 1982, Henry Fonda left this world, but not without leaving an indelible mark on the film industry. Then President Ronald Reagan, who might have known Fonda from his reformist days, paid tribute by describing him as a true professional committed to excellence in his craft. He noted how Fonda brought authenticity and dedication to every role, making him a legendary figure in classical Hollywood cinema. Indeed, Henry Fonda remains one of the most revered actors of his era. His work continues to grace our screens, reminding us why he is considered a timeless talent even today. In the vast landscape of Hollywood's golden age, Henry Fonda stands out as a towering figure, leaving behind an indelible mark through his unforgettable roles and significant contributions to the film industry. Born on May 16, 1905, in Grand Island, Nebraska, Fonda was destined for greatness. His mother, Herberta Krieger Janes, instilled in him a love for theater, often taking him to local productions during his childhood. At the age of 25, after serving in the Navy during World War I, Fonda decided to pursue acting full-time. He joined the Omaha Community Playhouse, where he met fellow aspiring actor Marlon Brando and director Orson Welles. With their support and guidance, Fanda soon found himself in New York City, honing his craft under the watchful eye of legendary producer John Houseman. Fonda's breakthrough came in 1935 when he starred alongside Margaret Sullivan in The Farmer Takes a Wife. From then on, he became one of the most sought-after actors in Hollywood, working with some of the biggest names in cinema like Alfred Hitchcock, Sidney Lumet, and Sergio Leone. One of Fonda's most iconic roles was Tom Jawad in The Grapes of Wrath, which earned him critical acclaim and cemented his status as a leading man. Despite playing tough guys and rugged individuals, Fonda possessed a gentle quality that resonated deeply with audiences. Later in life, he even received an Academy Award for Best Actor for his work in On Golden Pond. Throughout his illustrious career, Henry Fonda remained committed to delivering powerful performances that left lasting impressions on viewers worldwide. Even today, fans cherish his legacy and continue to appreciate his impact on American cinema. And while Henry Fonda may no longer be with us, his timeless films remain etched in our collective memory, a testament to his undying prowess as a true Hollywood legend. So let us step back in time and remember the remarkable career of this intriguing thespian who captivated generations. Henry Fonda was born on May 16, 1905, in Grand Island, Nebraska. His father, William Brace Fonda, was a stern man who owned a printing company, while his mother, Elma Herberta Reed Fonda, played piano and sang in local theater productions. 
From a young age, Fonda's mother encouraged him to appreciate music and drama. However, he had a strained relationship with his demanding father. Growing up in rural Nebraska, Henry Fonda's fascination with acting began during his high school years. He was quite shy, but found solace in performing on stage. At the age of 16, he played the lead role in a production of You and I, a play by Mae West and Lawrence Ayer. This experience sparked something within him. After delivering the final line of the play, Fonda felt an overwhelming rush of excitement and satisfaction. From then on, he knew that acting would become his lifelong passion. During college summers, Fonda worked with the Omaha Community Playhouse, where he honed his skills alongside Marlon Brando and Dorothy McGuire. These early opportunities solidified his dedication to the craft, eventually leading to his successful film career and iconic roles in Hollywood classics like Twelve Angry Men, Grapes of Wrath, and On Golden Pond. Born in 1905, Henry Fonda's path to acting was filled with obstacles. Raised in a family struggling financially, he had to postpone his dreams due to lack of funds. Yet, he remained determined. To earn money, Fonda worked various jobs, including as a bellboy and a shipping clerk. Despite the hardships, he never lost sight of his passion for the stage. When Fonda finally saved enough to pursue acting, the entertainment industry wasn't welcoming. He struggled to find work and often faced rejection. Skeptical of his talent, many producers overlooked him, but Fonda didn't give up. Instead, he took matters into his own hands by founding his own theater company. This move allowed him to create opportunities and showcase his skills. During this time, Fonda also made a pivotal decision. He moved to New York City to study acting under renowned teacher Frank Gilmore. Here, he honed his craft and learned valuable techniques that would later help establish his career. Although it meant starting over, Fonda saw this as another opportunity to grow and improve. Eventually, after years of persistence and dedication, Fonda got his big break. In 1934, he landed a role on Broadway, which led to more significant roles both on stage and screen. Overcoming initial industry skepticism, Fonda proved himself to be a talented actor who could captivate audiences worldwide. His journey serves as a testament to resilience and determination despite challenging circumstances. Henry Fonda's career took off in 1934 when he landed his first Broadway role in The Farmer Takes a Wife. This play led to a film adaptation in which Fonda starred alongside Janet Gaynor. Critics praised his natural acting style, marking a significant breakthrough moment for him. A few years later, another milestone came with his performance in Jezebel, where he played the love interest opposite Bette Davis. Their chemistry sizzled on screen, earning both praise from audiences and solidifying Fonda's position in Hollywood. However, one cannot overlook the pivotal role of director John Ford who cast Fonda as Tom Judd in Grapes of Wrath. His portrayal of the determined migrant worker resonated deeply with viewers during this period of economic depression. According to fellow actor James Stewart, Henry became Tom Judd. It wasn't acting anymore. During World War II, Fonda served his country but returned to acting post-war. Yet, it wasn't until 1957 that he experienced another major breakthrough playing juror number eight in Sidney Lumet's courtroom drama 12 Angry Men. Here, Fonda demonstrated strong leadership skills, standing up against prejudice and demanding justice. Peers and critics alike hailed his powerful performance. Interestingly, despite being known primarily for dramatic roles, comedy also proved to be a successful genre for Fonda. Teamed again with director Stanley Donnan after War and Peace, they created the Cheyenne Social Club, showcasing Fonda's comedic talent. Co-star Shirley Jones recalled how effortlessly funny Fonda could be, surprising many who knew him mainly through serious parts. Throughout his illustrious career spanning over five decades, each phase brought new challenges and triumphs for Henry Fonda, leaving behind a rich legacy still celebrated today. Henry Fonda's artistic vision was deeply rooted in his Midwestern upbringing and genuine personality. Born in Grand Island, Nebraska, on May 16, 1905, Fonda developed a grounded sense of authenticity that would become his trademark as an actor. Fonda once said, I don't act, I react. This statement reveals his naturalistic acting style, which prioritized staying true to the character rather than showy displays of emotion. His ability to convey subtle emotions resonated with audiences, making him a beloved figure in American cinema. Henry Fonda approached his work methodically, often preparing extensively for each role. He studied scripts closely, immersed himself in research, and worked diligently to perfect every line delivery and gesture. Despite his serious preparation, he maintained a lighthearted atmosphere on set, 
and fostered camaraderie among cast and crew members. World War II had a profound impact on Fonda, further shaping his worldview and influencing his career choices. After serving as a Navy lieutenant during the war, Fonda became increasingly committed to tackling socially relevant roles and advocating for social change through his art. Themes of morality, justice, and integrity permeated Fonda's filmography, reflecting both his own values and those of post-war America. In films like Twelve Angry Men, Grapes of Wrath, and On Golden Pond, Fonda portrayed ordinary men facing extraordinary circumstances while remaining steadfastly devoted to their beliefs. These compelling performances continue to captivate viewers today, solidifying Henry Fonda's place as a legendary Hollywood icon. Henry Fonda's impact on the acting industry is immense and far-reaching. His career spanned over five decades, starting in the late 1920s. Known for his natural style and authenticity, Fonda raised the bar for actors who followed him. Renowned director Steven Spielberg once said, his gift was not technique but truth. Fonda's influence extended beyond just his acting skills. He starred in some of Hollywood's most memorable films like The Grapes of Wrath, Twelve Angry Men, and On Golden Pond. These movies tackled relevant social issues of their time, setting new standards for storytelling. Moreover, Fonda paved the way for future generations of method actors. His son, Peter Fonda, and granddaughter Bridget Fonda both became successful actors, following in his footsteps. Actress Jane Fonda shared her thoughts about her father, stating, he taught me everything I know about professionalism and passion for the craft. Even today, film enthusiasts appreciate Fonda's work for its timelessness. Critics often cite his performances when discussing great American cinema. Through his roles, he embodied values and stories relatable to many, making an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. Indeed, Henry Fonda's contributions have transcended eras, inspiring countless individuals within and outside the movie business. Decades after his passing, his legacy continues to resonate profoundly throughout the industry, reminding us all of the power of genuine talent and unwavering dedication. Henry Fonda was known for his dedication to family and country values which often intertwined with his acting career. He served as a Navy CB in World War II, an experience that deeply informed his performance in films like Mr. Roberts and The Bridge on the River Kwai. Fonda's humanitarian efforts were equally significant. Alongside his daughter Jane, he advocated for various social issues throughout his life. In the 1960s, he became heavily involved in combating hunger and malnutrition through organizations like the National Council of Christians and Jews. His passion for these causes led him to narrate documentaries and even testify before Congress. His commitment extended beyond national borders too. After traveling to Africa and witnessing poverty firsthand, Fonda co-founded the American Refugee Committee in 1975, providing aid to refugees worldwide. This organization has since helped millions displaced by war, famine, and persecution. Despite his successful film career, Fonda remained grounded by his Midwestern roots and strong moral compass. These personal traits shaped both the man himself and the characters he brought to life on screen. Let's talk about the legendary actor, Henry Fonda, known for his work in films like Twelve Angry Men, and the Grapes of Wrath, Fonda left an undeniable mark on Hollywood. His nuanced performances captivated audiences and inspired generations of actors. He brought complex characters to life, making each role unique and memorable. Even today, his impact resonates throughout the industry. Now, let's consider those just starting their journey in acting. Here's some advice based on Fonda's impressive career first. Never stop learning, take classes, attend workshops, and constantly hone your craft. Remember, every experience offers an opportunity to grow. Second, stay true to yourself. Don't try to imitate others. Find your own voice and style. Lastly, be patient and persistent. Success doesn't come overnight, so keep pushing forward even when faced with challenges. As we look toward the future, it's essential to build upon the foundation laid by pioneers like Henry Fonda. This means embracing diversity, fostering innovation, and supporting emerging talent. By doing so, we can ensure that the entertainment landscape remains vibrant and dynamic for years to come. So, whether you're an experienced professional or an aspiring artist, always remember the lessons of the past while striving for growth and progress in the future. Born in 1905, Henry Fonda's passion for acting took root early. As a young boy, he found solace in the local theater, captivated by the powerful stories brought to life on stage. This fascination led him to pursue a career in acting, marking the start of an incredible journey.
Fonda began his professional career on Broadway during the late 1920s. His dedication and talent soon caught the attention of Hollywood, earning him roles in films like The Trail of the Lonesome Pine. Throughout his career, Fonda demonstrated his versatility through various genres, from westerns like Fort Apache to comedies such as My Darling Clementine, even tackling Shakespeare with The Taming of the Shrew. During World War II, Fonda served his country, but never let go of his creative pursuits. Upon returning, he continued to innovate, taking on more challenging roles and pushing boundaries. In 1981, he starred in On Golden Pond, which resonated deeply with audiences worldwide, proving that age could not diminish his profound impact. Henry Fonda's enduring legacy extends beyond his impressive body of work. He showed us the power of creativity and persistence against all odds. Even when faced with personal struggles, including health issues later in life, Fonda remained committed to his craft. Through countless unforgettable performances, he left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry and inspired generations of actors who followed in his footsteps. Reflecting on Fonda's remarkable journey serves as a reminder of the transformative potential of art. And human resilience, passion, hard work, and relentless determination can shape not just individual lives, but also entire cultural landscapes. And so, we are reminded that every step taken towards realizing our dreams has the power to create ripples felt far and wide. As we take time to reflect on the life and career of Henry Fonda, it's clear his impact on the world of entertainment is still felt today. With memorable roles in classics like Twelve Angry Men and The Grapes of Wrath, Fonda left behind a body of work that continues to inspire actors and filmmakers. Fonda was born in Grand Island, Nebraska in 1905 and began his acting career on Broadway before making the leap to Hollywood. Over the years, he became known for his versatility, taking on a wide range of roles that showcased his talent and charisma. One of Fonda's most iconic performances came in the form of Juror No. 8, in 12 Angry Men, his nuanced portrayal of a man determined to uncover the truth helped elevate the film to classic status and solidified Fonda's place as one of Hollywood's greatest leading men. Of course, Fonda's contributions to cinema go far beyond just one role. He starred in dozens of films throughout his career, earning critical acclaim and numerous awards along the way. Even after his passing in 1982, Fonda's legacy continued to live on through his children who also went on to have successful careers in the entertainment industry. As you look back on Fonda's life and work, what stands out to you? Was there a particular performance that resonated with you? Or perhaps a moment from his career that you found particularly inspiring? We invite you to share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the life and career of Henry Fonda, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more content celebrating the creative spirits that shape entertainment. Together, let's continue to honor the legacies of these remarkable artists and keep their memories alive for generations to